As leaders, we have developed habits in the way we respond to situations and problems. David Snowden's Kinevin framework helps us to classify situations and identify the optimal way to respond. The Kinevin framework consists of four domains or four archetypes of situations. These are split into predictable and unpredictable. The first domain consists of situations that are obvious. Here, the connection between cause and effect is clear and best practices exist. An example is cooking a dish. In this domain, the best way to react is to sense, categorize, respond, to look at the situation, to select the best practice like a recipe or checklist, and take action. In the complicated domain, the connection between cause and effect is less clear. It requires experts or domain expertise to figure it out. This is the domain where there are good practices. An example of such a situation is when you're building a factory. The strategy in these situations is to sense, analyze, respond, to gather data, define a good strategy, and take action. In the complex domain, the connection between cause and effect only seems clear in hindsight. This is the domain where there are only emergent practices. An example of a situation in this domain is when you're trying to change the company culture. In these situations, the best strategy is to probe, sense, respond, to launch an experiment, observe what happens, and adjust accordingly. Finally, there is the chaotic domain, where there is no connection between cause and effect. This is the domain where there are novel practices. An example of a chaotic situation is a volcano eruption. In these situations, the best strategy is to act, sense, respond, to first take action and only then observe what happens and adjust course. So how do you typically respond to situations or problems? And how much do you tailor your response to the problem or situation you encounter? For this and other perspectives on growing your leadership, visit think.org.